welcome back in today's video i am going to show you a e shop web app which is made using google sheets data and google app script so in this web app we have many features like search categories search products wish list cart and category and subcategory so here we will see e commerce v1 we have a wish list feature where we can add a product in our wish list for buying later and also we have add to cart functionality stock limitations we have the stock limitations and uh, when a product is purchased when per someone is product is purchased then it will also automatically the stock quantity in our database the next feature we have is category and subcategory also you can see here if i just click on the smartphones uh, then i will see only smartphones if i click on the electronics then i can only see the electronic items when i click on all categories so i can see all the products here next feature is live view button for example if you are this uh, uh, for the, for example this product is have a image have a video which you describe on your youtube channel for its review you can also add that's your youtube button here the live view so your subscribers and your client can easily see uh, about information of this product via a video or some like other link or url okay and the last feature is the rating system so you can see here the ratings for example if i change this to here 5.0 so the rating will be changed into five stars and this is the feature now we will let uh, you will see that uh, star change to five now we will see it's step by step how we can use that in our and okay. so first of all here you will see in our google sheets there is a sheet of product in product sheets we have a data of this particular kind for example in a column the id in b column the product name in e column specifically the stocks you will see so also the image url the description the category is the important and the subcategory is important you will see this category is electronics and it will come in the subcategory of smartphones and laptops and on the main side uh, we have a category sheet where we can add categories and subcategories which will shown in our this sidebar in our category side make sure the category is search only categories not the subcategories you will see like here also in the list order you can see the orders received from your web app okay so now we we'll, let me uh, take an example for example you will see if i want to purchase this iphone 13 this price is 719 you will see the stock is available in our warehouse is 45 so when i enter 46 and click on add to cart it will says order exceeds available amount it will tell me that the uh, quantity you entered is not available in our end example if i enter the 45 and click on add now the product is successfully added in our cart system so you can see here in our cart system the product is added and also when we click on here the plus icons because 45 is at available quantity in our warehouse but here i also click on plus icon it will not allow me to include uh, the quantity of the product it will say order exceeds available stock and if i lose the quantity it will easily uh, uh, it will easily allow me to do that okay so you will see the price is also changed so you can see the price is also changed when i reduce the quantity and when i upgrade the quantity the price is also changed and when i uh, reach the 45 quantities the available stock it will show me error you cannot add more okay so uh, for example this product i want to buy later and i just click on uh, the heart icon this product will be going in our wish list in the wish list we can remove the product also we can add to cart from here directly so we can uh, directly add to cart so you now you can see here we added two products here macbook pro and iphone 13 the macbook pro we have 30 pieces for example if i enter 
uh, 20A, for example, if I upgrade, for example, if I, you will see, if I reach to 30, it will stop. And if I uh, do again plus icon, it will says me order exceeds available stock. So we can only order 30 items because 30 stock in our warehouse is available. So now here we need to enter our name Muhammad Ramiz Imdad and contact number is 322-408-3545 and address is uh, Dubai and uh, when I click on you will see the total is here and when I click on the confirm when I click on the confirm you will see uh, uh, you will see this confirm button when you click on the confirm your order is successfully being placed so you can now see here your order is successfully placed your order invoice is this and when you click on this clause I can and this one clause and when I go to our sheet so you will see now the zero uh, stocks available now the zero quantity available in our database so the products will be removed from our main site you will see the stock is zero and now the we are unable to see the products because we don't have that particular products for example if i restock them with five five quantities and click on a refresh button then again i can able to see the products on my main front end and when i ordered again five five quantity uh, when I ordered again the 5 5 and click on add to cart and click on the name and enter the address and the name and click on the confirm and when I click on the confirm my order is successfully being placed and I can able to see the invoice and also the stock is updated and on my front end I am unable to see again my outlisted up um, again my products which have zero stocks available in our backend okay so here i can also apply the searches uh, which works very fast and uh, hope you like it uh, please like and subscribe our channel and uh, if you want to join a membership the link is in the description so uh, how to set up this uh, also leave the uh, link in the description of the video setup click on just click on make a copy when you when you click on make a copy so you will see this kind of google sheet in front of you you, you, you just need to click on the extensions click on the app script and when you click on the app script you will see the code is already available in your google uh, app script editor so you just need to copy your google sheet url and replace with this url after that click on deploy and the remaining process is still same uh, which we do in our all previous videos Hope you like this video and uh, the functionality. If you want to add the more functionalities in that, you can simply contact us in the description. We'll leave a link for custom projects. You can also contact us for custom projects. So hope you like it. Uh, meet you in our next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.